Climate change is becoming the single most important challenge that is being discussed around the nation of the Philippines. This is due to the fact that the archipelago nation is amongst the biggest polluters around the world. To combat this, the Philippines has set out a plan. To use renewable energy and to slowly phase out dirty generating power, one of which is the wind power of the Philippines, a notable and rich source of energy that can be adapted to the islands of the country. The potential of today, however, is still relatively small. The Philippines has yet to achieve its goals of adapting the use of wind power. As of 2020, there are only 443 megawatts worth of these as reported by the Department of Energy, which is approximately 1.6% of the country's total installed energy capacity. These are most notably known to be onshore, or so-called land-based wind farms, whereas most of the constructed wind farms in the country have been well up north of Luzon. This is mainly due to the northern wind power density, which is stronger up north, and less of which is seen in southern parts of the Philippines. Some of the largest wind farms the country has are the Burgos Wind Farm, a 150 megawatt, 450 million US dollar project, which is operated by the European-based Vestas Wind Systems, along with smaller wind farms such as Caparispisan Wind Farm and the Palilla Wind Farm. The most famous farm, however, might be Ayala Corporation's Bangui Wind Farm, which was commissioned way back in 2005, one of the first wind farms the country ever constructed. Today's current status, however, does not indicate the future's potential. This is why the government has crafted a plan, notably known as the Philippines Energy Plan, that will transform the entire energy system of the Philippines to favor more renewable energy. After all, it has been studied time and time again that the Philippines is an abundance of opportunities when it comes to wind power. While the plan so far is only targeted to construction of around 2,345 megawatts by 2030, the real potential of this wind power is far from such small use. A study done by the U.S. National Renewable Energy Laboratory found that the Philippines has over 10,000 square kilometers of land, capable of generating a whopping 76,600 megawatts worth of energy. This makes the Philippines an emerging wind power market in the entire Asian continent, one that is uniquely seen only across a small number of countries. Further studies around the industry have seen further opportunities. The World Bank Group has published a report that found that the Philippines contains around 178,000 megawatts of technical resource potential for offshore wind. This figure presented is in fact far more than what the government's goal is in the year 2030. As they only have a target to increase the entire renewable energy sector's capacity to just 15 gigawatts by the next decade, or 15,000 megawatts. If the government or any other bodies does pursue such potential, we can expect the Philippines to be a lot cleaner when it comes to finding energy. We can also expect a huge boost in the overall stability of the Philippines' energy system. No more reliance on oil and power imports, a key strategic necessity. But so far, according to the Department of Energy's roadmap, there is only an ample amount that is going to be allocated to the construction of wind farms. Both of these are just going to be small onshore wind farms, mostly located around the northern Philippines, and some will be offshore wind farms, to be located around the nation's most opportunities destinations. Why the government, on the other hand, is not taking such an opportunity might be because there are also other forms of programs to pursue. As the Philippines is not only rich in wind potential, they too are abundant in solar, geothermal, and hydropower, which can then tell us that, indeed, one should not rely too much on a single source of power but very much diversity. Anyway, what do you think?